to make this into my office. As you can see, this uh, this room is a little bit of a shithole, to be quite frank. Uh, we're going to try to do our best here to renovate it. I'm going to try to take this couch out. I mean, all this stuff in general, it's kind of all junk. There's some things that I want to hold on to, but besides that, we're going to just pretty much gut the place, and I'm going to try to make this my new home office because nobody ever comes down here except me, and I feel like it's pretty well insulated for sound, especially when I close that door right there, so let's get working. <laughs> So I don't know which stuff, <clears throat> well that, that's not true, I do know which stuff doesn't have to be here and which stuff I would like to keep here. The problem for me is just finding the, the space for the stuff that I do want to keep in other areas because there's not a lot of stuff, there's not a lot of room down here where I can just be tossing things around. And like this stuff, I, okay, so this stuff I really don't know what I want to do with. I'm not even sure what this is to be completely. Why is there a, a kid's dish set down here? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Don't know what that is. I'm also gonna try to use the bags that are already down here as much as possible to just bag things up. And store things. Got some hand soap. Hand soap's always useful. Hand soap's a good item to have, just lying around, you know? Painting, of course, talented dad, can't throw this away. Gonna put this in the other room. Try to gut as many of the, the, uh, the non-needed items as is humanly possible here. This I might keep, this is from spreading the floor. I mean, I used to, I did used to record down here. The only problem is it's gotten very stuffy and very clustered with a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna need to bag up what we do need and we don't need a different bag. I think that's the way we do it. So the stuff we do need, then we can figure out once we bag it, where to put it. The stuff that we don't, we don't. Then we can bag it up and run it through the parentals and then toss it in the trash. Let me move the camera up here so you guys can, uh, can get a better view of what I'm doing. Is that any better? That's perfect, okay. I didn't realize how much stuff was actually in here that was just sitting. Probably gonna find things that I never knew I didn't have or things that I lost a long time ago down here. Got the GCS stickers, yes sir. A lot of memories attached to those for sure. Definitely keeping those. Not a question in my mind about that. Uh, some dingy article of clothing and a towel. See, what I want to do is, I want it over there, and I I'll guess I'll uh, pre, or excuse me, in post, I'll put camera angle over there. What I want to do is, I want to have a chair in this corner, and then just utilize the rest of the space in order to get a studio looking environment. Because that's kind of how I have it upstairs. You guys have seen my videos, you guys know what I'm talking about. As I understand it, this table also holds a lot of significance to my family. So I feel like throwing it in the trash would just be insanely disrespectful. It's already looking a little bit more bare bones, man. We're, we're, already, we're already looking a lot better down here. This is good. That was not a good sound. I don't know what that sound was. This is already equipment that I use. So the equipment that we're gonna be using immediately down here, we're gonna to toss on the couch. Ugh. Ugh. Like that little, little straw man tossing things around. Old wrestling shoes. We don't need these. These are mow the lawn sevens. They've got fucking grass clippings all over them. That's gross. That's gross. A good system executed to perfection will never fail you people. Remember that. Whenever you want to get stuff done, devise a plan in your head. Could be any plan. And don't let people talk you out of it. Try everything. Don't be afraid to fail. I wish I could get rid of the carpeting in here because the carpeting in here fucking blows. It's just gross. And I don't know if you'd necessarily be seeing it if you watch the videos. Here's a hilariously bad picture of me. Hold on, focus on it. There it goes. A little different, huh? Well, you're not gonna see the, the floor. That's right. You're not gonna see the floor when I'd be recording, but still, the floor in here, I mean, it, the ideal vibe, I don't think has been set yet. So we're gonna see what cleaning up the room could do for this. It's always good every once in a while to just clean up your surroundings and for the cleaning up surroundings, cleans your head up, right? From all the noise, all the madness and the distractions. 
gonna wick this off. I'm gonna vacuum in here once I'm done. Maybe we don't even need this, honestly, because we're gonna have a table down here. Who needs this part, you know? This is some old, old linen cloth. And while this thing does hold a lot of value to me in terms of the fact that, just the sheer fact that this thing has seen a lot of podcasts, I mean, that that's what I used to lay my laptop out on when I would record spreading the floor episodes. Uh, sometimes things need to go, you know? I probably have fucking asbestos in this thing by now. Now, the big question here is what do we do with, hold on, let me see if I can angle it down. What do we do with this table in particular right there? That's the table that I'm re referencing. Uh, I don't know how much leeway I have with removing this table because this table is as is the case with some of the other things in here, a big part of my family lineage. So I'm gonna probably have to go through mom about this, but I'd say we should be able to get it moved to a more advantageous secondary location. All right. You know what, oh, actually, wow, that's okay. Perfect, then we got a vacuum now. Right? Look at that, vacuum. I feel like this stash makes me look like sort of a douchebag. All right? A little bit. So now the big challenge is we got to move everything around and see how it would look with the chair, obviously, over in the corner. But for that, we're going to need a little bit more time and probably a lot more manpower. So I think that'll come in episode two. We'll wrap it up for today. And in between episodes, we're just going to move some things around, get rid of the stuff that we put in the bags, and just get rid of anything else that we really uh, don't need down here. But without further ado, it has been your boy, the Jewish Island, of course, the soundboard guy, Jacob Cooperman. And I'll see you guys in the next.